Hello Aquarius, it's my lady. I'll get everything off the board. I don't like anything touching the board during the readings. Okay, it's my lady from my lady's way here, and I'm coming to do your weekly reading for the week of August 14th through the 21st, 2017. The cards I am using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish. And I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. I want to thank everybody for like, share, and subscribing and setting up personal readings with me. And if you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Jesus. All right. So this was reversed. It felt like to me. So um, if it was reversed, this means somebody is starting to um, look at things for what they are, you know? They... Like they trying to move the smoke cloud, you know, that they've been living in, you know. But if it was right side up, it's just like somebody, somebody is refusing to see who they, what's happening and what's going on. All right. So what's going on with the Aquarius? Eight fourteen through twenty first two thousand seventeen. Love reading Aquarius. 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 Love reading. Okay, so the overall issue is love, everybody. Let's hope it keeps going this way, okay? Mm. So, I'm feeling like your partner might feel like you are emotionally draining them, sucking the life out of them, using them for, I mean, just mentally. I, and emotionally draining right now and they feel like they feel like you're doing this with with your baggage okay what baggage is this for the Aquarius what's going on with this baggage for the Aquarius 8 14 through 21st okay shot right out there okay so the baggage is feels like you offer stuff and you don't get it or somebody just keep asking for more and more and more and more. I feel like like a, a, a endless hole of hope of things to come. Like emotionally and physically, this person just wants too much. So this person feels like you are wanting too much emo emotionally. Okay. Oh. Oh, it's telling you to keep going. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Ooh. Okay, so what this saying here is could be vice versa too. Like you don't have to be the one with the uh, endless pit of want. But whoever has this endless pit of want is the cheater. So... Somebody is in love, but they're also cheating. Okay. Okay. All right. So they're in love, cheating, and overstepping boundaries. This is like, all right, we're going to take it from the top here. So somebody is in love, right? The partner feels like the person that's in love is overstepping. No, sorry, I'm reading here. I feel like the partner is like emotionally draining them. Like there's nothing I can do to make you happy. And that's a baggage. This baggage is like what's making them not want them. But the baggage is like I just want, want, want emotionally and materialistically i feel like somebody just want too much from you and then it's like keep going maybe it's telling you to keep going with the third party like maybe you should let this one go but we're gonna clarify that in a second but it's like keep going with the third party but there's boundaries being broken or maybe it's because all right, let's do a couple of clarifiers. What does this keep going about? What does this keep going about? What is this endurance about for the Aquarius? Mm. 
Okay, so this is saying to me that you love this person, but you don't want to open your heart and open your feelings to this person, probably because of these negative feelings they got for you. So it's like you you love them, but they just want and want and want for you, or they feel like you want and want too much. And this is, is looking like baggage. Like, I don't want this person that always wants stuff. And here it's like presents. They just want gifts. That's the baggage. They emotionally drain and they want gifts. But it's like, I don't know. It seems like it's telling them to, to you to open your heart to, to them. Or maybe open your heart to the third party. All right, let's see. Okay, so <laughs> this is crazy. It seems like either you may be pregnant This makes it seem like you're pregnant by the third party And then this makes me feel like you're the boundary breaker too because you stepped out got pregnant by somebody on the side which is a boundary breaker in any relationship but you only did it because this person was wanting too much and then now it's like you got to keep going and you got to open your heart to the third party because you're pregnant by them I mean that's what I'm getting here this is one of the most complex ones I've done in a, in a long time but just let me know what you guys think of this one all right, so, ooh, this makes me feel like some third party might be uh, maybe a boss or somebody you work with or maybe somebody that worked for you or or you did this out of some kind of power, power struggle or power rush or race. Hmm. Okay. What's going on for the Aquarius? Aquarius, Aquarius, what's going on for the Aquarius? 8, 14 through 21st, 2017. What's going on for the Aquarius? Love life, 8, 14 through 21st, 2017. Mm -mm -mm. Bad judgments. I don't know. Yeah, I see somebody. I don't know how, but it seemed like this one going to end up in court. I don't know, maybe some kind of uh, unstable home. Yeah, that's definitely. So maybe somebody going to have a divorce because of this. Uh, yeah. Okay, so I, from this, I see like somebody is getting ready. Whatever this is, I'm... I don't know if it came out, but it's because of an unstable living environment, which is that top portion of the other half. But I feel like this relationship must have been for money. Like, they've been in this relationship for money, but it was hard to communicate about love because it's like, I don't know. All right, let me just read these cards. So, we got the four of staffs, which is first. Four of staffs. So the four staffs is reversed and it says monetary and material wealth, joy, positive improvement. Okay. I guess after you like be with the father or be with the mother, it would be positive improvement. All right. So that's just my opinion. All right. So the ace of coins says a financial success a success in actions is here now is the time to start a new project which can move you forward so i guess that's the new relationship that you're coming out of here then you got the eight of cups eight of cups where is that it's right side up 
it may be time to move on and start new plans do not let your pride stop you from making a change so all this together right here is like the new relationship is going to bring you money and probably and love so it's like mm, don't let the past or your old marriage stop you from that you know it's like you wasn't happy there you went out and you didn't got pregnant or pregnant impregnated somebody else they want you to open your heart. So it's basically like shit. You didn't got them pregnant. Nah, you might as well just keep going. All right. So we got the Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups. What are you doing, Aquarius? I don't even like saying bad words. But you got me confused. All right. Ace of Cups. No, that's the sword. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, a gift is coming to you something that you have wanted you may find yourself you may find a new relationship friendship that fulfill you um, there things are looking very good a loyal heart peace of mind physical good health all wants and needs desires so I don't know why I just got the feeling of somebody has been wanting a baby but their partner wasn't giving it to them and now the other person is but let me know all right that's all i have for you guys make sure to check your sun moon and rising signs if you want a personal reading check in the description box below other than that thanks for taking the time to watch my video and have a wonderful week